Hi guys, welcome back to Relentless. Today's topic is relationships. Thanks for coming back with us guys. We are here again with Mark and we're going to delve a little more deeply mm -hmm. into our relationships and our families and get some specific help and instruction and maybe some road signs for mm -hmm. our families and mm -hmm. our couples to really work with, to implement. So I want people to be able to take away something from these interviews mm -hmm. and actually implement today Great. to make themselves Wonderful. and their relationships better so that they have less stress so when they come to me i can just focus on making them <laughs> feel good so you get them better and i'll make yeah, them feel good that how about fine. that, yeah, that, that fine. okay yeah. perfect so let's really delve into relationships and talk a little bit deep more deeply about how um, you are helping our families and how you see from the outside mm -hmm. gives you a better overall perspective mm -hmm and helping them see something mm -hmm. that they can put their hands on and say, mm -hmm. okay, this, mm -hmm. this is where we need to start. Yeah. What does that look like? Um, so I think, okay, so when it, when it comes to, when a family comes in and, and they're trying to think of themselves, where, where do we start with this? I think a common area we focus on a lot of the time is where is the marriage at, right? We think of families um, hierarchically, some hierarchy. I can't even say that. We think of them in a hierarchy, right? And mm -hmm. so one of the central points or the highest point we need to focus on is where's the marriage at? Where's the relationship at? Uh, something that I ask couples or will spend time assessing with for couples is um, really kind of four points of, of healthiness in a relationship. Focusing on John Gottman, he calls them the four horsemen. Mm -hmm. uh, focusing on is there criticism present in this relationship? Is there contempt? Really that idea of I'm better than you mm -hmm. at this and really... Uh, not leveling the playing field between mm -hmm. two partners. Uh, are we stonewalling each other? Which really means when, when things get tense, when things get heated, are we disconnecting and just disengaging altogether, not really willing to kind of work through it together? Uh, and are we um, starting to get defensive towards one another? Once criticism sets in, are we going back at each other right. um, during that, that disagreement, mm -hmm. during that argument? Mm -hmm. And those are all very unhealthy things. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And that takes some introspection. It absolutely does. And self-control, I would assume. It takes a lot of uh, insight. And I think for men, sometimes that's even more difficult because it really requires um, uh, people to really tap into what's going on for them, which mm -hmm. can be very scary, can be very vulnerable. Yes. Um, but it also really requires a lot of empathy, mm -hmm. um, which, which requires a, a lot of uh, vulnerability with where we're at right. with something. And I can kind of see it being similar to with what I work with with clients. They have a good wall built up mm -hmm. um, and they have their game face on mm -hmm. out in the public with mm -hmm. friends and family and other people. When they come into my treatment room mm -hmm. and we start talking about sometimes nothing related yeah. and I start their session, sometimes they just break down. Mm -hmm. And I think that might be maybe what you would see as well. So mm -hmm. when a couple does come to the point where they're on board with, let's get some help, let's get mm -hmm. some advice, mm -hmm. let's get some encouragement and a like a coach on a team. Absolutely. Let's just get someone on our side yeah. that helps us be successful. I can imagine when they come in and they just start the conversation mm -hmm. and they're just sitting down together and they're okay with let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. With someone else there, yeah, as kind of not a referee, but just no. someone that's helping, someone yeah. mediating the conversation. Mm -hmm. I can imagine it just coming mm -hmm. out sometimes. That's right, and and they're saying more than they would have ever said to each other mm -hmm. alone at home mm -hmm. because they're in that defensive mode. Yep. Is that kind of what you see? I do, because couples and families really get caught into cycles mm -hmm. with one another, mm -hmm. right? There is a typical pattern that that um, we get in with specific members of our family. And, and there could be a lot of reasons for that. It's efficient, it feels safer, whatever it mm -hmm. is. And that's what's really great about the work I do with these couples and families, and a lot of marriage and family therapists do with these with these groups, because we are focused on really challenging that pattern, mm -hmm. right? Thinking mm -hmm. beyond just one person's approach to a problem mm -hmm. and looking at the broader system. What's right. happening here operationally mm -hmm. 
And how do we challenge that cycle that just keeps perpetuating? Because when we do, new things come up. People right. are uh, more open to new emotions, more uh, accepting of new perspectives. That mm-hmm. flexibility we were talking mm-hmm. about last time, yes. that starts to be really encouraged right. when we start to challenge those cycles. And it can be uncomfortable sometimes, right. Right. but it's those you know, really heated, really uncomfortable moments that really breed opportunities for change. Mm-hmm. So just like, you know, I think when in society we're okay with getting a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. We're, we're good with getting um, a dietitian or a mm-hmm. nutritionist to help us figure mm-hmm. out how to eat. We get someone to handle our finances because yep. we don't, that's not our category, that's not our specialty. Mm-hmm. We get someone to maintain our lawn. Mm-hmm. Hint, hint, David. <laughs> um, but we have all these specialists in different areas because we know that's not our wheelhouse, mm-hmm. you know. And I don't have a, a license or a certificate in what you do, mm-hmm. so that's not my specialty. Mm-hmm. So why would I want to try to manage my lifelong relationship mm-hmm. all alone? Mm-hmm. So it just makes sense if we're okay getting these other people to help in all the other avenues of life. Mm-hmm. It just makes sense to have someone on your team. Yep before that stuff happens to yep. give you a better roadmap Absolutely. is what I'm kind of seeing yeah. here. Um, and can you talk a little bit with what I do, obviously, with body work and massage and health. Mm-hmm. So when someone is in pain mm-hmm. or someone has a um, serious diagnosis, long-term issues, mm-hmm. that can be quite um, a roadblock or Um, an issue that comes into a relationship. Mm -hmm. So do you have some advice you can give our couples on that are dealing with something like that? That, you know, when someone's in pain for a long time, Mm -hmm. it could be that other person in the relationship that's not in that situation. Mm -hmm. So I can see that could kind of maybe brings about some issues they would have to deal with. Yeah. Could you talk on that a little bit? Yeah, I think, I mean, there's a lot of different ways, you know, life, life can kind of throw itself at us, you know, in many different ways. So it's hard to cover everything. But I think a very common one is when uh, a spouse is dealing with pain or a chronic illness that causes a lot of pain. Um, There's a lot of shift in how a family operates. Mm -hmm. Um, And oftentimes that's done quite automatically, very Mm -hmm. similar to if um, someone in a family passes away, everything Mm -hmm. has to really shift because Mm -hmm. it can't function as it used to. Um, And so oftentimes we think about uh, two things happening, either one parent really becoming the sole person operationally that's running this family Mm -hmm. Um, or we're thinking about maybe sometimes children that can get invited into an operational role Mm -hmm. a little bit more than maybe what they're ready for or uh, what they've normally been asked to do and that can create a lot of stress and even can uh, sometimes uh, result in some physical uh, issues that have come up whether Mm -hmm. it be like body work issues that need to be done Um, but I think the the tip to really uh, emphasize for families is uh, how do we develop an awareness about mm-hmm. that? How do we create some space to be mm-hmm. able to realize what's happened here again? Because when these things happen, it happens so automatically. Right. And so we don't really take the time to reflect and understand how systemically sometimes when these issues come up, mm-hmm. we don't take the time to really understand what's going on. And so we give ourselves the appropriate amount of compassion for what's happened because we've been so focused on the other person. Mm, that's very good. Yeah. So one of the, the phrases I use with my clients yeah. is to give yourself as much grace as you would give yeah. a friend. Yeah. And being either of those two parties, the one that's sick and hurt or the one that's the caregiver yeah. and the one in charge, both of them need that. Yeah. And again, it goes back to when you have someone like you in their corner. Yep. They have the ability to do that. That's right. And you have, you have the, no, 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 you're, let's do this this week. We need yep. to scale this back and mm-hmm. focus on you, or this is how you can better acclimate to this situation. That's right. Just having someone in your corner. Yep. That's what we need for our families. And, and I think even more, what, what's great about counseling and, and family counseling and couples counseling is oftentimes clients already really know what needs to change, mm-hmm. um, already have those skills. It's just by allowing them to come in and really process what's happened, Mm -hmm. do they kind of rediscover an opportunity for them to use those skills to make a healthier adjustment? Um, that, That time to be able to step back and reflect on what's happening here it is often what's just really needed to be able right. to make a, a healthy adjustment. Awesome. So that's again some great advice. A healthy adjustment. That's a that's a great point to really end this with. Is 
we that's what we're here for. That's mm -hmm. what you're here for on that mental, mm -hmm. emotional capacity. I'm there for physically, and it takes all of us. Yeah. You know, we have such a wide gamut of things happening in our life. Yeah. And we have people for almost every category if we look at it that mm -hmm. way. So let's get someone on our team that can help us better manage and facilitate a healthy relationship, yep. a healthy family. And that's what you guys are here for. That's right. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much thank for your you time. Thank you so much. This was, was awesome. so great. If yeah. you guys have any questions, again, please always feel free to comment and contact Mark and his wife, yeah. and they will be happy to help you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care. So I hope you enjoyed that with Mark and Christine. They have a wealth of knowledge to share with you. Please contact them if you have any questions or if you'd like to set up an appointment. And again, continue on your journey to be relentless today in your relationships. Thanks, guys.